When pricing a two-channel equalizer for a studio or mastering facility, you may notice there's a big price difference between models. There can be two units that look exactly the same, even by the same manufacturer, but with a $5,000 price difference. This more expensive model is typically the mastering EQ. Let me explain the difference in usage and options. A regular fully parametric equalizer is all you need for recording. Equalizers come with different specs and tolerances that you could choose to your liking. The better those specs, usually the more you'll pay. The more expensive models tend to have smoother action on all the knobs and controls. In mastering EQ, all the controls are replaced with high tolerance detente controls. In other words, the dial clicks over to each setting. Now each setting might only add 0.25 dB of change, but it's exactly 0.25 dB of change. The controls for the left and right channels are also matched for perfect symmetry. This way, when a mastering engineer wants to add 1 dB of 100 Hz to each side, he knows it is being replicated correctly on both channels and just not an approximation. The detents allow for exact recall if he needs to change a song later on. These high-end controls are very expensive, and it's easy to put up to 30 controls in one unit. Some mastering EQs take it to the next level by adding automated total recall. In this case, the digital circuitry added to the analog controls adds dollars to the price. It's not as expensive as the high tolerance detent controls though. A push of the button recalls the whole equalizer to the memorized settings. When it comes to purchasing, if you plan to do both recording and mastering, you could use a mastering EQ for both applications. But if you only plan to record, there's usually no need for the extra expense of the detents. You could find regular EQs like the SSL's X-Rack modules that have total recall without detents for a fair price.